think the outdoors are one of the most important things in my life. And when you come here, time doesn't really matter. My name is Jeff Trandall. I'm the executive director of the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. The National Fish and Wildlife Foundation was created by Congress in order to identify the greatest, most urgent conservation problems in the nation and around the world, and then to also create strategies to address those issues. Every day I get to wake up and uh, think about our nation's natural resources and bring people together in order to protect the environment. I started fishing with my father when I was uh, two or three years old. My dad being a biologist, you know, every day was an opportunity to learn more. Whether it was fishing or whether it was big game animals or it was birds or butterflies. For me, getting out in the outdoors, it allows you to understand how you fit in the world. When I took this job, a lot of my friends were like, this is a the perfect professional opportunity for Jeff because every day I get to protect what's so important to me and to everyone. The day of the spill in the Gulf, I happened to be meeting with the mineral management service that had responsibility for all the deep water exploration and drilling around the United States. Immediately, we started asking, what can the foundation be doing to assist our federal agency partners as well as the people on the ground? We were able to go directly to BP, asking the company to partnership with the foundation in order to build upon a recovery. BP committed $22 million to the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation in order to do expedited wildlife recovery and restoration. We call it the Recovered Oil Fund. It was a fund granted out to 22 partners in the five Gulf states. BP's contribution allowed us to invest in the recovery of oysters, migratory birds, fish, marine mammal stranding centers, and a sea turtle strategy throughout the entire Gulf of Mexico. We believe we've been able to save twice as many adult sea turtles than the sea turtles lost in the actual incident. No one was quite certain what impacts we would see in the marine mammal population but we all thought it was wise to build up the capacity of marine mammal stranding centers. One of the most important challenges we knew we would face was around migratory birds. We knew that we would have 1.5 billion birds migrating through the Gulf states. We were able to create 500,000 acres of temporary bird habitat in the form of wetlands to support not only that migrating population, of but also that 600,000 birds that actually winter in that area. I believe very strongly that the future of the Gulf is bright. The spill brought together a lot of conversations that had not happened over decades. And we've seen impacts in the Gulf, be it loss of wetlands or overfishing or loss of fisheries that needed to be addressed. And this is an opportunity to pull everyone together in order to create a Gulf that is not only healthier, but provides an even better economic opportunity to the future.